Three different companies, all expired bread. None of them have mold. We'll start with this one, August the 2nd, 2024. It literally was never used. Has the end piece. None of it is molded. Still soft. The Sunbeam is October the 2nd, 2024. Some of it had been used. We'll take some out from the middle. None of it is molded. Still soft. Sarah Lee is October the 15th. Some of it was used. Now this is the honey wheat. Still soft. None molded. This is disgusting. So, I don't understand. Does she want mold on her bread? Is the lack of mold disgusting? I mean, the, the obviously, the, the point here, and if you read the comments, people are like, oh, we're not eating real food. This food is so artificial, it doesn't even mold. Come on, that's not what's happening here. So, if you buy bread in the store, yes, it is. it does have preservatives on it in order to delay getting moldy. This is a good way to improve the shelf life of bread and so that you're not throwing away half your bread because it goes moldy before you could use it, right? This is a food saving and health measure. What do we do to reduce the, uh, the molding of bread or delay how long it takes before bread will tend to get moldy? Well, um, the main, the main um, preservative that is used is called calcium propionate. And this is, you know, an organic chemical that is an organic in the real chemistry way, not in like the fake organic way, um, that is uh, reduces reducing mold spores from, and also bacteria. So it's kind of just, it makes the food safer for both mold and bacteria. And it delays the, the molding of bread by 10 days. They say, so you could basically increase the shelf life to 10 days. So, you know, you buy a loaf of bread, you have a week to use it basically before it goes bad. Um, I've had bread go moldy very quickly. I've had some other bread, again, all store, store by that, that last way beyond that, that point. It's, it's variable. It also depends on what condition you store it in. You, you, you do want to keep it in an airtight environment. I always like to squeeze out the extra air before I close it off. Um, I also feel if I keep it in a bread box, it lasts longer. I think it's just another layer of protection there. So you could put it in the refrigerator. That also will extend its uh, shelf life a bit, although that tends to change you know, the bread a little bit. I don't, I don't like it when it's too refrigerated. So is calcium propionate safe? Completely. It's actually one of, just one of the few things that we add to food where there's really no issue here. This is not the kind of thing you should be fear-mongering about. Um, it's been studied by the FDA, by the World Health Organization, by the UN, by other countries, given to you know, even in high doses in animals and studied epidemiologically. There really is zero signal here. There is no reason to think that there, there's any health effect whatsoever from this. So the FDA considers it uh, generally regarded as safe or grass, that's one of their designations, um, after studying it extensively, it's completely safe. There's, no, there's nothing there to worry about. The, you know, mold, you know, eating mold would be worse for you than eating a little bit of calcium propionate. Uh, so, yeah, this is just naked fear-mongering. This is our food isn't real or isn't natural kind of theme. This is very, very common on TikTok and other social media. Um, it's not based upon any real understanding of you know, you know how this sort of things work. It's it's a lot of what we call chemophobia. It's like there's chemicals in there, therefore you sh you know you should be. It's not real, and you should be afraid of it. There's chemicals in everything. Everything is chemicals, right? Read the uh, list of ingredients under any fruit, for example, an avocado or a, a peach or a banana. Are avocados fruit or are they vegetables? I don't know. We'll leave that to another video. Um, you will see a long list of ingredient of chemicals because that's the stuff is made up of chemicals. But anyway. The only real th thing that really matters is, is the chemical safe? Has it been properly tested? In this case, this is like, you know, nobody bans this. It's completely safe. It's been researched to death. It delays mold, and it's a good thing. There's no reason to fear monger about it. Interestingly, um, people are working on other techniques to even further delay molding of bread. Uh, there is one technique which exposes the bread to microwaves at a specific frequency that delays the uh, the mold spores for 60 days. So now this could extend the shelf life of bread from 10 days to 60 days. 
But then, of course, then people will complain that their food isn't real because it could last for 60 days. No, it's just preserved. We just killed the mold spores or delayed their, you know, their, their spreading for 60 days. And that's a good thing. That doesn't make the food fake. It makes it safe. It also is very, very good for not wasting food. We waste, what, a third of the food that we produce? Because this sort of stuff happens. How much bread have you thrown out in your life because it went moldy? Imagine if we could delay that process for 60 days. I mean, you're, you know, you'd be throwing out very little bread if that were the case. It's a good thing. Don't worry about it.